Planet of the Fakes and Pig Star HH News. 17 year old arrested after two killed during unrest in Kenosha. Mike Householder and Scott Bauer. Associated Press. Kenosha, Wissa White, 17 year old police admirer, was arrested Wednesday after two people were shot to death during a third straight night of protests in Kenosha over the police shooting of a black man, Jacob Blake. Kyle Rittenhouse, of Antioch, Illinois, was taken into custody in Illinois on suspicion of first degree intentional homicide. Antioch is about 15 miles from Kenosha. Two people were killed Tuesday night and a third was wounded in an attack apparently carried out by a young, white man who was caught on cell phone, video opening fire in the middle of the street with a semi-automatic rifle. I just killed somebody the gunman could be heard saying at one point during the rampage that erupted just before midnight. In the wake of the killings, Wisconsin Gov. Tony Evers authorized the sending of 500 members of the National Guard to Kenosha, doubling the number of troops. The governor's office said he is working with other states to bring in additional National Guard members and law officers. Authorities also announced a 7 p.m. curfew, an hour earlier than the night before. A senseless tragedy like this cannot happen again, the governor, a Democrat, said in a statement. I again ask those who choose to exercise their First Amendment rights, please do so peacefully and safely. As so many rubber bullets at Black Lives I Matter protesters outside the Kenosha County Courthouse. This marks the third night of unrest in Kenosha since Sunday, when police shot Jacob Blake, an unarmed 29-year-old black man, seven times in the back as he was getting into a car. His three children, ages three, five, and eight, witnessed the shooting from the car. Blake was reportedly trying to break up a fight between two women before the shooting. Jacob Blake's family and lawyers said Tuesday he's conscious, but still in critical condition that he's paralyzed from the waist down. Blake's mother, Julia Jackson, sister Letitia Widman, and father, Jacob Blake Sr., spoke at a news conference outside the courthouse. They shot my son. Seven times, seven times, like he didn't matter, but my son matters. How would you feel <laughs> if your white son walked up to you as a mother and said, mommy, why did the police shoot my daddy in the back? You have no clue. fighting for this life. So I'm really asking and encouraging everyone in Wisconsin and abroad to take a moment and examine your hearts. Citizens, police officers, firemen, clergy, politicians, do Jacob justice on this level and examine your hearts. I am my brother's keeper. And when you say the name Jacob Blake, make sure you say father, Make sure you say cousin. Mm -hmm. Make sure you say son. Make sure you say uncle. But most importantly, make sure you say human. And this is civil rights attorney Ben Crump, who is representing Jacob Blake. We don't have to give you a lot of legal treatises to let you know that what they did to Jacob Sr. and Julia's son was done with deliberate indifference. But the medical diagnosis right now is that he is paralyzed. And because those bullets severed his spinal cord and shattered some of his vertebrae that attorney Salvi would get to in more detail, it is going to take a miracle it is going to take a miracle for 
Jacob Blake Jr. stumbled and fell in the street and opened fire again as members of the crowd closed in him. A witness, Julio Roses, 24, said that when the gunman stumbled, two people jumped onto him and there was a struggle for control of his rifle. At that point during the struggle, he just began to fire multiple rounds and that dispersed people near him. The rifle was being jerked around in all directions while it was being fired, Roses said. Sam Dirks, 22, from Milwaukee, said he had seen the suspected gunman earlier in the evening, and he was yelling at some of the protesters. He was definitely very agitated. He was pacing around, just pointing his gun in general. Not necessarily at anyone specifically, Dirks said. Blake, 29, was shot, apparently in the back, on Sunday as he leaned into his SUV, three of his children seated inside. Kenosha police have said little about what happened other than that they were responding to a domestic dispute. They have not said whether Blake was armed, and they have not disclosed the race of the three officers on the scene. On Tuesday, Ben Crum, the lawyer for Blake's family, said it would take a miracle for Blake to walk again. He called for the officer who opened fire to be arrested and for the others involved to lose their jobs. The shooting was captured on cell phone video and ignited new protests in the U.S. three months after the death of George Floyd under the knee of a Minneapolis police officer, touched off a nationwide reckoning over racial injustice. Democratic presidential nominee Joe Biden posted a video saying he had spoken with Blake's parents and other family members. What I saw on that video makes me sick, Biden said. Once again, a black man, Jacob Blake, has been shot by the police in broad daylight, with the whole world watching. Underbar, underbar, underbar. Bauer reported from Madison, Wisconsin. Associated Press reporters Todd Richmond in Madison, Wisconsin, Gretchen Elk in Milwaukee, Jeff Bannon and Amy Forleady in Minneapolis, Don Babwin in Chicago and Tammy Weber in Fenton, Michigan, contributed, as did news researcher Rhonda Schaffner in New York. Thank you very, very, very much.